In this video, we're going to talk about absolute value equations. Whenever we solve equations involving absolute value, it's very important that we remember what absolute value means. Absolute value refers to the distance from zero. You can probably tell me what the absolute value of 2 is. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Why? Because 2 is exactly 2 units from zero. I have no doubt you can also tell me that the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 for exactly the same reason. Negative 2 is 2 units from 0. But let's look at an algebra problem. What does the absolute value of x equal 2 mean? The absolute value of x equals 2 again means that whatever number x is, it's exactly 2 units from 0. So to solve this equation is simply to think about which numbers fit this description. If we look at the number line, we just need to find which numbers are 2 units from 0. There are two ways you can do that on the number line. You could move 2 units to the right of 0, which would place me at 2, or you could move 2 units to the left of 0, which would place me at negative 2. So there are two solutions to this equation. Both negative 2 and 2 fit the description. They're both exactly 2 units from 0, so the solution to absolute value of x equals 2 has two answers, negative 2 and positive 2. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 6. So what we have here is some number, x plus 1 represents a number, and the equation is telling me that it's exactly 6 units from 0. This always lends to two possibilities. x plus 1 might be 6 units to the left of 0, or x plus 1 might be 6 units to the right of 0. So I have to solve two equations. I have to consider that x plus 1 might be negative 6, or x plus 1 might also be positive 6. There are two different places we can be if we're 6 units from 0. So now I just have to solve both of these equations for x to get my solution set. Here, if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x equals negative 7. And here, if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x equals 5. So my solution set is negative 7 and 5. Now be careful, that doesn't mean that these are the two numbers that are 6 units away from 0, because obviously we know that's not true. But remember, when we solve an equation, we're trying to find the values of x that make this statement true. If you take negative 7 and replace x, we get negative 7 plus 1, which is negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So you can see that negative 7 is a solution to my original equation, and you can likewise check 5, and it works as well. Let's take a look at another example. Let's look at what would happen if the absolute value of x plus 1 were negative 6. Now what does that mean? Remember, absolute value is a distance from 0. So that means x plus 1 is negative 6 units away from 0. Now think about distance and the way you use distance in real life. When you tell somebody how far you went or how far you're going to go, and we use distance, distance is always given by a positive number. So if this equation is telling me that the distance is negative 6, hopefully you sort of have a problem with that. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So it turns out that this equation does not have a solution. <clears throat> Another way you can think of it is think about taking some value of x and plugging it in. No matter what number you plug in, once you take the absolute value, you're going to end up with something positive. So there's no way that this side of the equation can equal negative 6. It's always going to be positive. So if you're ever comparing an absolute value to a negative number, you don't have to do a lot of math. Just think about it. This is not going to work. Let's look at a third example. Let's try the absolute value of 2x plus 3 minus 3 equals 6. Another tip when you're working with absolute value, we always want to be able to focus on what's in the absolute value versus what's not in the absolute value. So in an equation like this, the first thing you're going to want to do is add 3 to both sides 
So one side of our equation is strictly an absolute value expression. So if I do that and add three to both sides of the equation, I get the absolute value of two x plus three equals nine. Now looking at the equation again, we have some number that is exactly nine units from zero, which means this number might be nine units to the left of zero, or it might be nine units to the right of zero. So again, we have two equations we need to solve. We have to account for the possibility that 2x plus 3 is negative 9, or 2x plus 3 could also be positive 9. Then I just solve both of these equations, and that will give me my solution set. Over here, if I subtract 3 from both sides, I get negative 12. And then if I divide by 2, I get my first solution, which is negative 6. And if I follow the same steps here, I subtract, that gives me 6, and then I divide, I get my other solution, which is 3. So the solution set for this equation is negative 6 and 3. Okay, let's try one more. Two times the absolute value of 4x minus 2 plus 4 equals 12. This is similar to the last example. There is an absolute value in this equation, but we also have some other stuff going on that we need to take care of first. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 4 from both sides, so that way I don't have this extra term here. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get 2 times my absolute value equals 8. I also would like to get rid of this factor of 2, and I can do that by simply dividing both sides of the equation by 2. If I divide both sides of this equation by 2, that would give me 4. Now again, I have some number whose distance from 0 is 4, which means my number might be negative 4, or my number might be positive 4. I solve these two equations, and that will give me my solution set. Here, if I add 2 to both sides, I get negative 2. So if I divide, I get negative 2 fourths. Always simplify your answer. In simplest form, that would be negative 1 half. So that's one solution. And then over here, if I add 2 to both sides, I get 6. If I divide, I get 6 fourths, which can also be simplified. My other solution is 3 halves. So my solution set here is negative one half and three halves. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a couple examples I'd like you to try on your own. I'm gonna tell you in a second to pause the video, work the two examples. Once you think you have them both solved, go ahead and hit play and I will reveal the solutions. The first equation I would like you to solve is the absolute value of x minus seven equals three. And the second equation I would like you to solve is 3 times the absolute value of 3x plus 2 equals 12. So go ahead and hit pause, work these problems out, and when you think you've solved them, hit play.